Hey guys, so I'm back with another kit video. I'm like so obsessed. So um, I've been trying to consolidate my kit, downsize, protect it from COVID. And one of the things that I've been wanting to do is downsize some of my disposables. And by disposables in this case, I mean paper towels, tissues, baby wipes, um, antibacterial wipes. Because a lot of times when we have our kit, you know, we have these big containers and they take up too much space. So for this whole era of the micro kit where you're just packing just enough for your one client or your small, small group of clients. You don't need this whole pack of wipes. It takes up too much space and then you can, you can refill and prevent this from getting like contaminated. So, um, one of the things I saw that a lot of people are doing, um, and I saw it from this one makeup artist. What is her name again? <laughs> I forget her name, but I'm going to, I'll link it below. She used um, a baby wipe container, like a hard container with a strap to go, which um, it has a flip top so you can just pull one at a time and it's not like exposed like these kind of paper towels. Um, and it, the brand was by OXO or Skip Hop does one. And I thought it was such a great idea because I can just hang it from the outside of my train case and have to take up room and I can just quickly grab it. Um, I've been having that in my Amazon shopping cart for a couple weeks now. It's $8 per um, case, which isn't bad at all. But I have multiple products I want to store, so I would have to get like multiple cases, which ends up becoming more expensive. Like that's thirty-two dollars. So when I have been doing my research, I found these guys right here, and these are also wet wipe or baby wipe containers to go. And it's like the same concept, except they're smaller and softer. But they're still non-porous, so they're wipeable, um, so you can disinfect the outside of these. They have that opening right here, so you can just take out one at a time and it's not exposed to the air or, you know, fluids in, in the air. And it, you open it with just going right here, so super simple to refill. And they have the snap, the snap clasp. So I would just snap this to the outside of my train case, or if like you want to snap it to the outside of your purse, to the um, headrest in your car, your baby bag, whatever, like these are so handy. So I actually found these on Amazon and I'll link them below. I bought a six pack for $12. So that's a lot cheaper than buying four of the hard case ones. So I'm gonna show you what I did to refill these. So again, I'm keeping it kind of slim because I don't need a million wipes, tissues, whatever per client. So I have a single client coming up and I am only just putting enough. So these right here are tissues. So what I do is I take my label maker and then I put my label here. So this is tissues and then I take a piece of scotch tape and that's what I do with all of my labeling. So, so that when I wipe the outside of this with alcohol to clean it, um, the label won't fade and it will stay there for a long time. Then I take my tissues, my box of tissues, and I grab a, a nice like little stack of them. And I open this up. Okay. And then I just close it, because it's just like a little zipper, Ziploc seal. And then I can just pull the tissues from here. So I did tissues. I also did baby wipes. Okay, I like this pack because it has the black and white because some of them are a little too colorful. They have these colors too, which is fine, but I'll just use this for home or for my actual baby bag because I do have baby wipes because I have a two-year-old. So um, I like the black and white ones. It looks a little bit more streamlined. So I did baby wipes. So a lot of the baby wipes come in these cheap um, containers with just a sticker. And if you use baby wipes, you know that this over time doesn't keep the moisture and it's so annoying. So all you have to do is get the cheap pack cut off the end and then you'll just have like a whole bunch of them and you just remove just enough. And um, I try to get the baby wipes that are unscented and gentle just because um, it's uh, a little bit better for your kit and you don't want to irritate anybody with the, you know, fragrance. So um, I am doing the same thing with these antibacterial wipes. So for a while it was really hard to find wet ones, like especially the small mini packs. But I've been seeing a lot of other brands do like larger packs, like it was completely full. So um, I like separating these because I don't want to carry a big pack and I keep some, I'm going to keep some with um, my baby bag because um, I use these to clean like shopping cart handles or items um, to disinfect for my baby. But I also want to keep these in my kit so I'm going to show you how I'm going to do that. So um, here is my, my label, antibacterial wipes, and it's sticky. So the label maker I use is from Dymo, D-Y-M-O, and I've had this one for years. Um, 
You can find them at Walmart. I think that's where I buy it. And then get the re refillable labels. And then I also have it um, on my Amazon Favorites COVID-19 kit essentials um, from Amazon. So I'm going to put this right here. Scotch tape and put it over the top of it. Okay, now it's protected. Then I'm going to open this up so I cut off the edge. I do like these little flip top ones, you know, these wipes, but it was just too big. So I'm going to take these out. Make sure your hands are clean. And then I'm going to open up this. I just open it up. Feed it through. Okay, and then you just pull them in, out one at a time. So I love it. So like I said, um, I also have paper towels. So the thing with the paper towels, and I heard this from another makeup artist, like I said, I'll link her below, is I actually use these. Um, these are kind of the ones that you can buy for like bathrooms. Um, we use these at our makeup academy. These are easier to put in one of these containers because they already are stacking and pulling out. You would have to kind of fold these and it would be kind of awkward in the regular paper towel roll. So what you do is you take it and then you cut off about this little chunk right here and you save those little guys because you can use those in your kit to um, wipe off the top layer of powders and use it um, as a prevention from double dipping and then just dip your brush right into the paper towel. But um, you take off that corner and then you place the smaller now cut piece in here because a full size won't fit in here. So now I can pull out paper towels one at a time. And they sell them in white too. You don't have to have the brown ones, but I had the brown ones um, at my school, so I just took them. So yeah, now I have my paper towels. So you know I already cut off a piece of the stacking paper towels if you can get some of those. Um, they sell those at uh, Costco, by the way. That's where I got them, or Sam's in the big packs. But I'm sure you can buy them in smaller packs. So I have my paper towels, my antibacterial wipes, my tissues, and my baby wipes. So this hardly takes up any room because I only put a little bit. Like let's say I want my antibacterial wipes um, on the outside. I just unsnap these and I just clip it to the outside and snap it back. So I will link this all below. Like I said, um, this is really affordable and this will also keep your wipes from drying out. Um, and keep you organized. I'm gonna actually put these, keep these for my house and my baby, and the rest will go to the makeup. So, if you have any questions about this, let me know, I'll link everything below. So don't forget to follow me also on Instagram because I post these stories with like my new kit organization tools and all that stuff. And until next time, I hope you have a great night. Ciao, Bellas.